take for this welterweight fight. Ferguson is four years the elder. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dean LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Pukuli And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib and Igor Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long Ready? time, and it Ready? is gonna go down fight. right now. Dateline Las Vegas, Nevada, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. So here he is, the internationally recognized Sambo Master, still undefeated, Khabib Nurmagomedov, some of the best takedowns in the game. I'm told he used to wrestle bears, Joe. Thankfully, he just draws a human being tonight. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented, powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. Oh, he missed that kick. Nice inside right kick there. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. He's in half guard. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Very nice sweep. Trying to get into side control here. Can't make it. Beautifully executed sweep. Two minutes, round one. Beautiful reversal. The next there with the punch. Now he moves to his back. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. 90 seconds remain in the round. They're canceling each other out. Back in the mound, this is crazy. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's back to side control. Tries to pass, but can't. 20 seconds to go in round one. Out of nowhere, this choke. Got the arm underneath. 
underneath the chin. Wow, that was close. Here's a perfect kick to the body. And there's a kick to the body. There's a powerful kick to the body. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Brittany Palmer is here as well. Second round underway. Well, there is his patented overhand, and now his opponent is forced to adjust. He landed it beautifully there. Oh! He's rocked! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He grabbed the Kimura here. He's got his wrist clasped together, the double wrist lock position. It looks like the Kimura is locked in and tight for him. He might get in here. Look at this. That wrist up and towards his opponent's back. That's and it. There it is. He set it up. It was beautiful technique, and he was forced to tap. Beautiful submission. Yeah, that is high level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. And that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Tony Elkapuri Ferguson! Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish.